Hey guys, my name is Habib. In today's session, we are going to talk about output redirection. This is one of the very basic topics that we uh, should know uh, as a Windows administrator or a developer or script or a tester. Uh, here we are going to talk about a very basic batch scripting technique. Um, on day-to-day -day basis, we are required to collect some logs or traces and uh, redirect some outputs uh, to a file like text file or log file or something. So let me jump into my demo box. Here is my one virtual machine. Here I am uh, going to test some of the uh, batch scripting techniques. So let me just open my command prompt and this command prompt is right, uh, right now directing to users administrators folder. So let me just, uh, just change the directory to my C drive and now I'm going to perform a very simple command. Let's say I'm going to ping 192.182.1.1 and here are my results. Now these results are shown on the command prompt. I want to redirect this output to a file, a text file or a log file. I want to keep it safe for uh, recording purpose or to analyze it later. Now this is a very simple command, maybe you are running a very huge batch file which is generating like a log file for 2 hours or 3 hours or whole day and you can't see all those results on command prompt. So you want those output to be saved on a file. So for this very simple command to save it in a text file, I'll just use a redirect operator that is this sign, the greater than sign and the output file uh, name. So let's say my file name is ping results.txt. txt is for text file. If I give dot log that will be for log file. Both can be opened using notepad application. Now hit enter. This time you won't see any output on the command prompt because the results are directly saved in the text file. So let me check the results. I'll go to computer and C drive. Here are my results. So ping results and these are the results pinging from. So I can get the same result that I was getting on the command prompt in a notepad file and I can uh, visualize and analyze it in a better way. Okay. Now coming to the second part. This is very basic. So I just used a redirect operator and saved it in a given file. How about running multiple commands and saving all those results in a single file? So let's say I I gave a, uh, let me clear this and let me delete these files as well. So let's say I am performing that ping test again 192.182.1.1 1 .1, and this time my output file name is output sorry output dot txt and hit enter and within few seconds I'll get the results and here are my outputs now I am running another command and that is a different command but I would like to save the same re uh, the results from those command in the same file that is output dot txt so let me run that command so my next command is um, take ip config so ip config output dot txt now when I hit enter and go back and check my result I see only IP config output result where are my uh, ping command results so it is overwritten so you cannot save uh, two results in the same file using this batch operator so what next let me delete this file and I'm going to do, do the same thing again. So I'm going to first perform ping test, enter, done. And here are my output of ping result. Now I'm going to run another command that is my IP config. And this time when mentioning the same output file, I will give Two redirections means this will force the output to save 
with the previous output results so here I will use double double operators here so what will happen this time uh, the ping results will be saved as well as IP config results will be saved in the same file that is output.txt so no overwritten so let me try this hit enter and let's check the results so previously I had my ping results which is still here and now I can see another result coming from IP config that is here so that's how we combine multiple uh, outputs in the same file okay um, what next I'm not happy with this very simple technique I want something more like uh, when I run this command I should be able to know um, by checking the log file name that when it was executed and what time it was executed what I mean I can simply see uh, output that txt that's it so I can't see any name or timing with the file name yes I can see those names here date modified but anyone can modify this file and this date modified parameter will get changed so what I want I want that whenever I run this uh, command my output should be saved with the date and time as well so how to achieve that goal and this is very important because when you are running a lot of files you should know when you are uh, running this and what time it was uh, executed so that you can perform some troubleshooting later on okay so the technique is very simple so again I'm going to perform the ping test this time I'm going to copy this command so till here our command is same that is ping space 192.182.1.1 then redirect output now before output.txt or log I am giving some parameters here you can see uh, percentile date then parameters and then percentile date again and then parameters so I will explain this later so let's see the results so when I run this command and when this is executed this is the difference so previously I got output as just output.txt now I'm getting output with the year month and date so my output is a file and the year of execution is 2013 year 8th of August 19th date this is cool now let me run another command this time along with this date I'm adding time as well so here you can see time parameters so percentile time then tile 1 1% 1 I will explain this later so copy this command and let's see the output so I'm running this enter and output generated and see the third one so third one is having file name the year of execution as well as the time so time is 1 a.m. 1 a.m. 6 minutes you can see here so this is my time and it is capturing the time and this is now giving more sense like when this was executed in which year date month time seconds now let me go back to my command and explain the concept so this is a uh, batch scripting parameters here I am calling the date parameter time parameters and I am uh, explaining the command what to capture from the system so this command is actually querying the Windows system to get the date from the system time from the system month and days so if you see this so when we use percentile date then tile 4 then 2 percentile that is for month in 2's then uh, tile 7 to 2 that is for days and tile 10 to 4 that is for years in 4 digits now when we see this in red color this is for time so when I use percentile 1 1 percentile it is for hours then minutes and seconds and then milliseconds now let's see the script so this is my script which I used just now and you can compare what I did here so my command was very simple output percentile 
date and then I used what is first percentile 10 comma 4 percentile means I'm getting years so till here years means 2013 will be displayed immediately after that I have ex uh, I have uh, run another parameter that is percentile date tile 4 comma 2 percentile that is for month so after 2013 I will get month now immediately after that I am running another parameter that is percentile date tile 7 comma 2 percentile means show the date in two digits so this will uh, fetch the detail for the days similarly when I am running the other another command with the time percentile you can compare the scripts and see when I'm calling the hours minutes and seconds so if you want to adjust your script accordingly let's say you want the date first then the month then the year you just have to uh, just reposition these uh, parameters here and there and that's it done so whenever you will execute your output will be like this so guys this is it I hope you like this tutorial and in other tutorial I'll be explaining a lot of tips and tricks and many other topics on DNS Windows Hyper-V virtualization and a lot of stuff thank you for watching this video have a great day